Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand opening of Nightclub Fight Club, the very first nightclub within an in-house wrestling event brought to you by Chromostania's very own Amethyst Love, who owns Haycorp. You can buy some of her signature makeup products towards the back of the building. Anyways, let's get our live beat down underway. I can't believe he actually did it. It took him years to put together, and he finally got it up and running. Yes, I know. And he invited us to opening night. You know, it was really awesome of Amethyst Love to want to help him get it up and running. Now this anti-hero alliance is really paying off. Yeah, I know. By the way, thanks for asking me to go with you. <laughs> no problem. By the way, this is the first time I've seen you outside of costume, and I gotta say, I like how you look outside of it. <laughs> you too. I like the blue hair on you. It definitely suits you, boy. Keep doing that. Anyways, let's go ahead and go in before it gets too crowded. Hey, I gotta take this call. Go ahead of me. Hello? Hello again, Tyler. Or should I say, Tommy Hero. What? Who is this? How do you know about that? Listen. Your father was close to exposing my secrets to the world and I had him killed. He had video evidence of my extraterrestrial connections. He would have made it public and would have kept me from taking hold of the planet. Now that he's out of the way, you are the only thing standing in my way. I killed that loser before he could leave Winter Haven. Just like I'm coming to you when I find you. And since you like your suit, you will be an easier target. I'll see you soon, Tommy. Hey Tyler, what are you doing? Wasn't you gonna stay for opening night? Look, I was planning to stay, but some stuff had come up. I gotta go out of town for a while. Out of town? But why, though? As much as I wish I could tell you, I really can't. There's a lot going on, and I've been ordered not to tell anybody. What? What are you talking about? You don't sound like yourself at all. You know, you can tell me what's going on, and I try, can try to help you with this. And who's ordering you to stay quiet about it? Please tell me. I'm really not supposed to talk about this. I have to head back to Florida to take care of something that I've been trying to hide from since 2007. Back to Florida? You know, I'm going to stay right here until you tell me what's going on. You're my very best friend and I'm concerned for your safety. You tell me what's going on right now. <sighs> You see, there's a lot to what I'm going through right now. So I'm going to start from the beginning. First of all, my real name isn't Tyler Averett. You, you're what? What do you my mean? My real name is Thompson Ethan Hero. Before we met in high school, my father was killed by his job boss for trying to expose the existence of extraterrestrial spacecrafts. Ones that were spotted outside of NASA. The National Airspace Association? Was it the government that did this to your no. father? No. It was done by someone trying to cover it all up. In fact, this man was harboring alien technology that he had been hiding at his wastewater treatment plant. After he murdered my father, Agent Mark Dark himself reached out to me and had me go to NASA for a secret experiment. Fucking Mark Dark? You can't be serious! They had me test out a super-powered suit that would be used in case our world had another alien encounter, or if the operator, as some people call him, decide to make another attack. I gotta go back to NASA and find Dr. Proctor. Hey, Tyler, wait! Tyler, what are you doing out here alone like this? Oh, hey Shay. How did you know to find me here? Sparkle 
told me that you left the show early. He didn't explain anything. He just told me to ask you about it. So what's happening? This is where my father was buried after he attempted to expose his former job boss when he learned that he was harboring alien technology. I came here to let my father know that I'm going to avenge his death. I'm on my way back to Florida to find this doctor that Mark Dark was working with, who made a super-powered suit that I had used back in 2008 to fight against Chronostat. We thought he was an alien. Now I need it to kill the Tyler, operator. What are you saying? Aliens? Mark Dark? I'm a little worried about you. Shay, I, I'll just tell you like I told Sparkle, but my real name isn't Tyler Averett. It's Thompson Ethan Hero, and I've been working with Mark Dark in a separate project known as the Space Force to combat a species of hostile aliens, the same ones who killed my father. Now I gotta go back to Florida and head back to Nassau so I can get the suit again and prepare to fight off the leader who is looking for me. What the fuck? Tyler, what are you saying? You mean to tell me that this whole time it wasn't who you said you were? It's a government project. I'm sorry about this. If you and Sparkle hate me because of this, then I completely understand. Tyler, sorry, I meant Tommy. The thing is, I don't care about any of that. I care about that you were here for me during the, the darkest times of my life and I'm forever grateful. You taught me how to truly love again. You got to go to Naso. You get what you need to protect this from the invading forces. Offend your father. I'd do the same again for Katie if I had to. I do miss her still. But if she were here right now, Okay, tell me now. Who the hell are you and how did you find me? You better not be working for the operator. I'm sorry if I scared you and caused you to crash your car, dear. Enough of the niceties now. Who and what are you? My name is Gano. I'm a Jin. I was married to your brother, Cody. Uh, what? Uh, I'm a bit confused here. Seven years ago, Cody found my lamp in Cookville, Tennessee and released me. He become my master. I granted his wishes for him while he was dealing with his separation from his ex-wife. I fell in love with him and we stayed together up till recently. Uh, a gin? I always thought those were myths. And, and you were with Cody? What happened? Why are you not with him right now? Unfortunately, Cody died in a car crash. Dead? What the hell happened? Right before he opened up about what happened to your father, a black vehicle hit us. His head hit the steering wheel and his head exploded. No way. Just like our father. He did tell us that he had unmarked black cars following him before we learned of his death. Right before he died, he told me that if anything happened to him, to come and find you. So as of now, you're my new master. What? What am I supposed to do with you? Well, Tommy, I'm no genius, but if there are people killing your relatives off, I could help you avenge their deaths. All it would take is for you to grant some wishes to help you get started. Huh. Hmm. With that being said, couldn't I just wish for our assailants to be dead? I wish it worked like that. 
It would be against my design to cause pain to mortals of any kind. There was one that went against Hades' design, and it caused him to become trapped within the vessel of he, whom he granted wishes for. This causes him to lose his ability to grant wishes, and exchanged it for a dark and unholy magic. They called him Chenkinsky. I fought against this Chenkinsky in Kronostania back in 2008. I never would have guessed he was a djinn. My heart is too kind to ever want to cause mortal harm and become evil like that. So, what's your first wish? Uh, I get three wishes, right? That's a genie. Jinns can grant infinite wishes to their master as long as he or she wishes to have me around. So where do we start, Tommy? Hmm, well, seeing that you scared me and caused me to crash the car, I need to get to Nassau to find Dr. Proctor. So, I wish you could take me to the doctor. Your wish is my command. What the hell happened to Nasso? It appears that your assailants were a few steps ahead of you. Looks like they're laying waste to the facility. And that must mean that Proctor is dead. Which means the suit is gone. Which means I, I can't defend the Earth from the operator. I, I failed. It's not too late to defend the planet, Tommy. After all, you do have in your possession a gin. Perhaps you can make a wish to aid you? I think you're right. If the suit is gone, I could just wish for another one. That's a good start. Tommy, your wish is my command. There you go, Master. One new super-powered suit just as you remembered it. How about you take it for a test run against the aliens surrounding the building? It, it looks better than the old one. Let's hope it works just as good, if not better. Let's fight these creatures off. <laughs>
you can protect us from this incoming threat upon the Earth. Me. Ow. Is there anything more I can help you with? Oh, uh, until then, I want to focus on talking to Sparkle again. I hope he isn't too upset with me over the situation from before I left. So I'm going to go talk to him about it and hope he isn't mad. I'm sure he will understand the situation when you explain it. If he truly is your best friend, he will understand and forgive you. You really think so? Yes! You're doing what you have to do. It's what being a true hero is all about. That's what happened. I do apologize to you and Shay for lying about my name and job. If it truly matters. I did tell you both the truth as far as what kind of person I am. I told you both the truth about myself outside of the name and government protection and working with Mark Dark. Oh, I understand if you both want nothing more to do with me. Glad you're back. How did you get there and back so fast, though? Well, that's something I want to talk to you about. It's a strange story. Strange? Why would it be strange? Well, hello, and welcome back, Tommy. And you must be Shay. Nice to meet you. Um, Tommy? What's this? Why is there another clown girl here? This is Gano. She's a djinn. Not only that, she was also my deceased brother's wife. After he died, his last wish was that she were to assist me. So her ability to grant wishes will help us with my mission to take down the operator. So you had to wish for a new suit? This is incredible! I didn't think creatures like this still existed! Perhaps you can use her to maybe start a new team for your mission. So, I just want to make it clear that I'm the only clown girl in his life that gets his, you know. I get what you're saying, and you don't have to worry, eh? He already told me about you, and I completely respect the boundaries. Plus, I'm still getting over the loss of Coddy. That, that's, I, I can't imagine what you're going through with that. And so respecting his boundaries. I'm truly sorry for your situation, Gano. You don't have to worry about me. As his wish master, all I ask of you is to keep him happy in the ways that I can't. After all, Tommy only needs one com dumpster clown girl in his life. What the fuck? Why does everyone keep saying that? Sorry, I don't know what came over me. It's almost like I was programmed to say that. Hey, what are you looking for a good time? Well, you seem like you're back to your old self again. Still sorry about having to leave on opening night. Speaking of, how did it go? It was amazing. Amethyst and I are officially business partners in this. This was such a weird idea on paper, but it's working. And speaking of, do you think we could get her assistance with the crisis we're facing with the operator? Oh, you mean like a new alliance? Give her a call. We're gonna need it. Don't worry. I got connections. We're not letting our planet perish. It's great to be working with you again, Tommy. 
haven't really got to work with you since high school. I'm hoping that things have been well for you since then. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? I've just been kind of on some downtime until this came up. Well, it's great to see you back in action. Mark Dark did say a lot of good things about you back when all that happened in 2008. I do apologize if Seth beat you up too badly. Oh no, not at all. But I will say that he was quite a challenge. And speaking of him, I will let him know about this team that you are putting together. I'm more than 100% sure that he would partake in this. According to your doctor, whatever it is that's wrong with you is uncurable. And that is why I have reached out to you. It would seem that you and I have a common enemy. Perhaps your strange flaming abilities will come of use. So what do you say, Matt? I know one person in particular who needs a good tailoring. What did you have in mind? So listen. It would appear that both of our common enemies are good friends with one another. Weren't you a thing with a guy that people in Atlanta call Sparkle back in high school? Oh. Yes. I remember that guy. I never fully recovered from the psychological damage he did to me. And boy, if I had a way of doing it, revenge would be amazing. Yes. That's where your strange fiery abilities will come into play. I'm going to open the gateway to that revenge that you wish to get on him. All you need to do is agree to work with me on this. The next day at Sparkle's apartment. I. Ho. Ah! Where in the gay hell did you come from? What? Have you forgotten all about me? Has it been that long already? Absolutely no memory at all. Um, well, that's a bit weird even for my tastes. As a matter of fact, you did put your finger on it. The finger might have slipped a few times, but still, we had our first date at that diner called Buddy Freddy's. Remember now? Matthew Cod, is that you? Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm confused. How did you even get in here? And why are you? I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd come see the very same guy who used me in high school. Do you forget all about that? Do you forget that you were the reason I became gay in the first place? In that one week, he used me and dumped me. So as an act of revenge, I went through with conversion therapy. I wanted to try to leave all that behind me along with you and your disgusting behavior. You ruined me, Jack. You ruined my life. The conversion therapy isn't working for me. It's turned me into something with a fiery vengeance. Fooled by the memory of being toyed around by a self-centered homo. You are a prick in disguise. Excuse me. You got plenty of revenge from what I recall. You let somebody break into my locker and steal money from me. You gave some jock asshole a briefcase to hit me in the head. Also, for some weird reason, you put hot dogs and castor oil in my mailbox. I don't feel like I got enough revenge on you. You need so much worse. I will show you why it is that everyone calls me. The Pride.
so after you healed him, what did he say about the assailant? He said that he was attacked by his ex-boyfriend Matthew Cod, who has obtained some kind of fire ability. It turned him into a fiery but colorful behemoth. I have never heard of such a thing before. So now that we have a name, we now have to find where he's located. And I think I have an idea as to who may have put him up to this. Do you think this might be the work of that man that you call the Operator? Well, Gano, you've definitely read my mind. And plus, I have one last thing that I want to talk with you about before we get started. Okay, Master Tommy. What would you like to talk about? It's about my final wish for you. What do you mean, Tommy? Well, what I would like to do is I would like to make you an official member of my new team. But the main problem is, due to the strange laws that you have to abide by, because of the species you are, you wouldn't be able to help us because of the fact that you could not harm civilians. So, what I would like to do is relieve you of your gin duties. So I can fight by your side? Tommy, this is a first. Wait. That means I can't grant wishes anymore. Why would you want to take that from me? Look, Gano. The weird thing is, you're more human than anybody I've ever met outside of my small group of friends. So I figured maybe you would like to be... Maybe you'd like to be human. A superhuman? Oh, that is essentially what you'll be. So, get ready to grant the wish. I've been a wish master for several centuries. And now, today's the day that I finally leave all that behind and become a member of humanity for the sole purpose of protecting the creations of Show Parthus. Granted. I've been looking all over this sorry town for you. I tatered your friend, and now... I'll tater you. So you're the son of a bitch that did that to Sparkle. That's right. Now I'm here to take you down for simply being associated with him. I also hope you know that I'm not alone here. And the good thing is I've come more than prepared to kick his ass too. So get ready.
Burn the muck keeper.